The summer heat is intense and the lack of rainfall can really stress the lawn out. So do you keep ahead of the watering to fight to keep the lawn green, or do you just ride it out until it cools off and rain starts to fall? Today, let's talk about it. Hey, I'm Mike. This is Mike's Home and Garden. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. Now, if this is your first time here and you want to learn about lawn care, boost your curb appeal, and do other home improvement projects, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss out. So today I want to talk about some of the challenges warm season lawn owners might be facing this time of year, especially with the extreme heat waves and the lack of rain that we've been having across the country. So let's walk through the question I posed at the beginning of the video. Do you try to keep up with the watering to keep the lawn green or do you just wait for the rain and ride it out? Now for me where I live it's been a really rough year with the weather. Spring started with abnormally hot and dry weather and now in summer it's still really really hot and still dry. We're starting to get some rain recently, but it's still not enough to make up for the lack of rain that the springtime experienced. So what are the watering demands of Bermuda grass? I keep saying that I haven't been able to keep up with it all year because of the extremely dry spring we've had. During the summer, about an inch to an inch and a half of water is ideal. And ideally that should be coming from rainfall. Now, even with it being really, really dry, it's important to keep up with your other practices in the lawn. You have to still consistently mow and even feed the lawn when there's a lack of rain, but don't put down too, too much nitrogen. Just add in more micronutrients and other additives to the lawn that can help it with nutrient uptake and drought stress. Now, talking about micronutrients and other additives you can put into your lawn to help with nutrient uptake, drought stress, and things like that are topics for a video that I'm doing that'll be coming out shortly. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on that one. Okay, so back to watering. Look, it's hot, it's dry, this weather sucks for our lawns. So, do you try to keep up with the watering by manually watering with an irrigation system or hose, or just let the lawn succumb to the heat, go into summer dormancy, and when it cools off, bring it out with some recovery efforts? Face the fact that if you're deciding now to keep it green and you haven't been watering consistently up to this point, it might be too late. It's a lot harder to bring a lawn out of dormancy and out of stress by manually watering than it is to keep up with it if you have already been watering since the spring. But look, can we be real for a moment? Water's expensive. Have you tried to water your lawn frequently through the season and then get that water bill at the end of the month? Talk about a shock. Now, if you have a well, I'm jealous because irrigation with a well costs far less. You're only paying for the power to run the pump. I haven't even brought up the watering restrictions. I'm seeing across the country where you can't even water your lawn with an irrigation system. You have to do it by hand and on certain days of the week. You cannot keep up a lawn watering one to one and a half inches per week by hand with a hose. I'm sorry, it's just not practical. Not to mention, don't let watering your lawn get in the way of life. Your family, your job, other hobbies, friends, having a social life, things like that. You want to ensure that you're enjoying yourself and not just stressing about getting out in the lawn with the hose to get water down on the grass. I'm saying all this because it's okay to just water minimally or not at all. Let the grass go into some dormancy or have a little bit of stress and when the rain comes it will recover. You have to remember if you're a Bermuda lawn owner the only way to really get rid of Bermuda is to move. A little bit of dry weather is not going to kill your grass it just might cause the need for some recovery once the weather stabilizes. And this is the approach I'm taking. Late in the spring, I started to realize that we were way behind on our rainfall, so I started to try to keep up by manually watering my front lawn. But the more I watered, the more I realized I just couldn't keep up because there was still no rain to help relieve the problem of the dry soil that I was trying to keep up with by watering. Some stress and dormancy are going to be okay and you're going to be able to recover from it, especially now that rain is starting to show back up in the forecast. What's important is to continue to mow and continue to feed the lawn on a good schedule and when the rain comes, everything should bounce back just fine. Now, be sure to drop a comment down below. I really want to hear what your watering plan is this time of year when it's really dry. And if you're enjoying this content, make sure you hit that like button. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.